Hey there, it's Eddie the Grouch, and I want to uh, do a little show and tell here today. Folks have asked me about this uh, little level I made, just an aluminum block with a piece of glass and some screws and a piece of wood, a little paint and some butane. And you can have one of these together in an hour, and it's pretty darn sensitive. I, uh, I made this after reading some posts and, and seeing some uh, YouTube videos on using a sensitive level to check your lathe bed for warp. And uh, that's what I did. And I found out I had some. Well, it was worth the effort. Uh, I'm going to put this down on something and, and give you a quick run through on it. And uh, I'll let you see for yourself. It's basically a high sensitivity level uh, built out of some scrap around the shop. Uh, the glass tube is just some craft tube I picked up at a little glass workshop or probably a hobby shop would have it. Uh, turned some aluminum round stock down, made these little end furls here. Uh, heated up one end of the glass tube, pinched it closed. The other end I uh, glued on a, uh, a lighter fill valve I got off a semi-disposable lighter. Uh, the markings are just cheap paint that would put on when uh, this was chucked into the lathe and turning. Uh, the screws are just made out of uh, some aluminum bits I had lying around and some knurling on it and a machine block of aluminum. Got a wood fulcrum in the middle so when you adjust the knobbies, uh, trick them both down and you'll increase the bow in the in the vial and and, uh, and get a blah 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 a faster level. So let's uh, try it out a little bit. Right now it's empty, it's been sitting on the shelf forever. So let's see, which is the fill side here? Let me zoom back a little bit. Alright, pull that out of the way. Uh, let's see, butane. Oh, I've got it around here somewhere. makes it easy to adjust your level or your bubble width. I find that a wider bubble is more sensitive. So we're going to leave it about a medium size for now. Okay, I guess that would be a large size. New camera. I'm not used to posting, so I hope my arm's not getting in the way too much. Yeah, let's go the wrong way, stupid. It's easier to do this with two hands, but I just don't want to block everything out here. I'm trying to get this baby to stop on, a, on an edge of one of the lines there. So we'll have a starting point. I want to do this before the furnace kicked in because it can be sensitive enough to uh, be affected by some warm air blowing on it. Okay, we got the bubble right on the edge of that, uh, that mark there. And uh, the smallest shim I've got is uh, well, six thousandths. So let's stow that underneath there.
back to where it started. <coughs> all in all, it's uh, it's handy, and it's a lot cheaper than uh, I think the cheapest thing I've seen on eBay is around eighty ninety dollars. So you'll have the fun of making one, and you get to understand some principles involved, and uh, have a nice little conversation starter. So well, I hope you enjoy this, and I hope you make one yourself. Bye now.